Hi guys, in the last video we were able to use user input and print it out, in this case user age, where we defined it as a sort of a variable length string and using the, the object string and then we basically used IO sta uh, standard input to basically um, have the user input the user age. And if we run the program uh, cargo run and compiles <clears throat> and then uh, the program will ask us for to input will will give out the statement please input uh, your age so now here I just input uh, let's say I don't know 15 and here we see hi guys I'm 15 years old uh, let me just first capitalize the I and one of the problems we had was that I have a line break here between the 15 and years old, whereas, you know, I'd like to have in one line. That was the problem we ended with last, that, uh, last, uh, last video. Now, that happens because when you input, when you have read line, what happens is what you, you have your input, but additionally read line adds a sort of a line break. In order to, to take off that line break, what we can do is you uh, just add the function trim. And this takes off any uh, white space either before or after the, uh, the string. And that should take care of our line break here. And now if we run the program, we should have then, hi guys, I am 15 years old, all in one line. So let me save that. And let me go cargo run. And uh, rust c underscore zero. And let's go. And now it's compiling. Oh, by the way, it doesn't matter. You can uh, use cargo run with the name or without the name. It doesn't matter. So now you see we print, we print our uh, A. Uh, we, it asks us for our age. And then now we put in, let's say, 19. And you see now I've got it all in one line. So we fixed this problem with, with the line break. So now the next step is with this program. What I would like to do is I would like this program to um, sort of decide whether depending on my age, whether I'm an adult or a minor. And how do I go about doing this? Well, first of all, I have to define sort of um, what, what's, what, what's, the, what's the key age that decides whether I'm an adult or a minor. And here we can define a constant. And the way you define constants, similarly to variables, except that you use the word const instead of let. So const. And then well, it is like in C, in the C programming language, normally you have constants in most programming languages, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, this is sort of the norm. Uh, if, if you have a constant, then you put it in all caps, so it's easily recognizable and uh, discernible as a, as a constant. So I say like key age, and key age is what, let's, say, let's make it into an I64, uh, that uh, is equal to 18. So that's, that's sort of the... Um, the, uh, the, the constant, the key age. Now, another thing what we need, we need to convert our user age because remember, our user age comes from the user and that's a string. And we have to convert that string into an int in order be, to be able to compare it to that key age. So how do I, how do I, how do I uh, convert that? The way you convert strings to, um, to integers or to numbers, is let, and I take a new variable, let test age, and test age is equal to user age. And now, uh, of course, trimmed, and parse it. And now, parse, parse it to what? We have to parse it to, to an int i64, or I want to basically parse it to an int 64. So I go like this and that's, I 64 and there you go so that's the way you parse uh, that's the way you parse or or convert um, a, a, a sort of a string into uh, a number and test age in this case would be an I 64 because and it, it holds the value of user age trimmed of that uh, whatever white space there is in this in our case it's going to be this uh, new line 
and then it's going to be parsed to I64. Now I'm going to add something further here, which is basically unwrap, and that is sort of a, a normally when you when you leave it like this, normally what you get with test age is test age is uh, what's called uh, a sort of a result, and this can contain a value if you have a value or it could, can contain an error and it's not the best way to handle things right now the way I'm doing it but I'm doing it for simplicity's sake so that's why I'm going unwrap because unwrap uh, takes it for granted that we don't have any errors so if I got any errors uh, I'm gonna have a problem with unwrap but this is just a simple program so I'm going to use Unwrap. Typically, you won't use it. And I'll explain further down the line what, you know, how to do it cleanly, in a, in a, clean, in a clean way. But uh, let's now just unwrap, just to keep things simple. So I have now have test age, and that is uh, basically uh, an int i64 holding that number that uh, the user inputs. So now what I need is a condition. Now it, as in any programming language the classic condition statement is if and here is if what if test age is smaller than uh, key age then what and now comes the then statement or then expression and that comes within curly braces and the, and, the, and the expression is, well, you can then say uh, the following. I just add a print statement and that would be, um, uh, if I'm under 18, so uh, you are a minor. With your and I need a placeholder for the age, uh, years. And then I will add the age again. So I will take, uh, I'll take test age, test age. And right. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the case if you're below 18. Otherwise, uh, print. And then we say, wow, uh, hold on, wow, with, and then placeholder for the years, you are definitely an adult. Okay, and again, we add test stage. And let me just correct some spelling. Adult and definitely, defin, definitely, right. And wow. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. One, one or two, many. Right. And doesn't matter. And uh, semicolon. Right. So now we have a condition here, and what that program now does. Let me save it. What that program now does, it takes in your age, and depending on your age, if you're below the key age, in this case 18, then you're getting this statement. Otherwise, you're getting this statement. And now I've saved it. Let me just uh, run it. Like I said, it doesn't matter whether you use cargo run, whether you whether you, you input the name of, of that uh, source code right now or not. We're just going to run it like this. And now it compiles again. And so now it asks me for my age. And let's start with 12. And you see, hi guys, I'm 20, 12 years old. Well, that's that statement up there. And then you're a minor with your 12 years. So that runs. And if I run it again, oh. And now if I input, let's say, I don't know, 56, 
Then, uh, hi guys, I'm 56 years old. Wow, with 56, you're definitely not old. So you see here now, what we've done in this video, first of all, we removed that additional space here with trim. Then we learned how to, you know, convert strings to numbers. Obviously here you can use any, any type of, uh, uh, new, any numeric type in Rust, i.e. Uh, I32, uh, U32 or whatever. And then we just use the if condition to test whether your your number falls within this category or below a certain age or above a certain age.